Though I know I should be wary, still I venture someplace scary. Ghostly haunting, I turn loose. Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to create Lydia's spooky spiderweb poncho from the animated TV show Beetlejuice. The materials you'll need are 2 yards of red and purple cotton blend fabric, fabric heat bond or a sewing machine if you want to actually sew it together, scissors, a fabric marker, a hot glue gun, fabric glue, and black puffy paint. First lay down the red and purple fabric down on top of each other on a flat surface. Then use a fabric marker to trace a circle big enough to fit you like a poncho. To know how big to make it, measure the distance from your neck to your knees, or however long you want it, and multiply that number by 2 to get the diameter of the circle you need to make. We luckily had a round table that was the perfect size so we just traced it. Now draw one large triangle at both ends of the circle like so. Next measure out the circumference of your head and trace it onto the center of the poncho. We actually used a bowl as a stencil that matched the circumference of my head, so if you can find one too, that would be easiest. Now grab the heat bond strips and actually outline the entire poncho. Now open the red fabric and place the strip along the edge of the line you drew in. Then place the red fabric back down and iron along the line to bond the two fabrics together. A more sturdier method is actually to sew it together, but if you only plan to use the costume a few times, using bond strips will do. Next cut out the entire outline including the neck hole once the fabric has cooled down. Once you're finished, turn the poncho inside out and you can already see it coming together, I mean the seams look flawless. Then take out your hot glue gun and glue the two fabrics around the neck together. Now that the poncho is put together, it is time to grab the black puffy paint and draw on the spiderweb design. To make your costume unique, feel free to create the webs however you like. I personally want to replicate the design line for line using a photo reference.
Once you're done designing, let the paint dry for four hours indoors. And here is the final result. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a spooky thumbs up and subscribe so I can see you in my next one.